Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Joe and today is Monday and I have your word for the day. I hope your week has began as best as it possibly can. I hope your worship this weekend was meaningful and as you worshiped inside your home, I hope that you experienced the presence of God in your life. I hope you're I hope you're continuing to grow in your relationship with God and I hope you're continuing to represent the character of God in our community. Today we're going to read and talk about Philippians uh, chapter 3 verses 12 through 14. Paul writes this beginning in verse 12. I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. You know, a mistake that many of us make at times, including myself, when we share our story of how Jesus changed our lives, sometimes we leave others with the impression that we have lived perfect lives since we entrusted our lives to Jesus. Paul tells us in these few verses that he is not perfect. It reminds me of a scene, forgive me, Forgive me if this bothers you, but it reminds me of a scene from Monty Python's quest for the Holy Grail, and it makes me laugh. There was a plague that had run through a village, and a man was walking around pushing a wooden wheelbarrow, and he was inviting people to bring out their dead. You remember that scene? Bring out your dead, bring out your dead. And the villagers were bringing... It doesn't sound funny, does it? The villagers were bringing out people who were dead and putting them on the cart. Well, uh, a, a man brought his dad out, slung over his shoulder to put him on the cart, and the dad was not dead. And the dad kept saying, I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'd, I'd like to go for a walk now. I don't want to go on the cart. And the son kept reasoning that his father would be dead soon. Please take him. And the dad was finally clubbed over the head and placed over the cart. Now, it's a very funny scene for me, but that scene helps illustrate this point. You and I are not perfect yet. Although we've been made in the image of Jesus, although we've been forgiven for our sins, although on a scale of 1 to 10, God sees us as a 10 because of the work that Jesus did for us on the cross, we are not perfect yet. See, Paul said, I have not yet achieved it, but I press on. The most spiritually mature man who has ever lived said he had not spiritually matured. See, that's a huge relief for me. It, it takes the pressure off for me as a pastor and as a follower of Jesus. It frees me up to not feel obligated to have all the answers to all the questions that people have. It frees me up to be able to say, that's a great question. I don't know. It helps me to not become frustrated when I let people down. This passage gives you and I the freedom to fail. But we should not simply take a breath of relief or a sigh of relief and stop seeking to grow spiritually. On the contrary, because we are not yet finished growing, uh, to, growing spiritually, we need to press on and lean into our relationship with Jesus. So now the question that I have for you is this. I'm not asking if you are spiritually matured. There's no such thing. Are you spiritually maturing? Are you growing? Are you humble enough to admit that you are not yet there spiritually? See, I know some people don't like to admit that they're, they're not spiritually maturing. 
they like to say that they're spiritually matured. They're already grown up in Christ. But not even the Apostle Paul himself, the most spiritually mature man on the planet, considered himself matured. Rather, he considered himself maturing, growing. So are you maturing? And if you are great, then continue to make allowance for each other's faults. Uh, hope that they make allowance for yours and keep your eyes on Jesus through your whole growth process. Go out today and be a blessing to everybody that you encounter. Have a great day and God bless.